Former TSA director Kip Hawley, who was the second guy to ever run TSA, just has a new book call out about, called Permanent Emergency, and it's about the problems, the consistent problems with TSA. And I think a lot of Americans wonder when they're in the lines, these airport lines, whether TSA could actually prevent another 9-11 today with 40% of these breaches happening. Also, he's in the house, New York Giants QB and Super Bowl MVP. I want to know if he's wearing the ring. Ooh. Eli Manning. In the house. Oh, he's tossing Whoa. the football around. Nice catch, guys. This is his playlist, The Boss, singing right. Glory Days. Oh, Over here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> nice, Margaret Hoover. <laughs> Woo, be right back. Nice. Back in school, she could turn on. I mean, I just love that they're they're making fun of themselves. Uh, this was made by Chris Christie's office. This is part of like the the local version of you know the White House Correspondents Center in New Jersey. Hilarious. Yes. T totally funny. And I you know there's too many conservatives and Republicans who take themselves too seriously. So it's it shows yeah. Governor Christie's humor too that he's willing to sort of cast himself as the not so much the non hero. <laughs> Will, Will's just jealous because he okay. never in a million years could have caught the baby uh, three flights up. Margaret yeah, caught the Eli pass. Was uh, over, I, I think he might have me. She's in a receiver. I'm not sure, but he might have overthrown me. I, I don't know. If, I don't know if Eli Manning's overthrowing anybody right now. Boom goes the dynamite. This so Margaret Hoover here, and I think you know all of us understand that binge drinking is on the rise in college campuses. It's a it's it's an epidemic, really, in college campuses. And so how, how do these new guidelines address that? Because certainly college kids are, are drinking too much, but what do these guidelines do to address that? I think it forces them to get counseling or education at a very early age in the continuum, let's say. So a college campus uh, health care uh, is going to have to address this binge drinking, if somebody needs counseling, they'll get education. For well, the New York Times, the first page, uh, needy states use housing aid cash to plug budgets. So this is the biggest private settlement after the tobacco industry. The banks paid the states for mortgage mitigation, foreclosure mitigation because of their role in the housing crisis. Of course, states aren't using that for foreclosure mitigation. They're actually using it to plug their own budgets because states are in debt. I would just take a little bit of issue that there are, are Republicans that are moving are. In, in that direction. I mean, Ken Melman, Ted Olson, many Republicans who are senior leaders. Frankly, New Hampshire just pushed back an appeal to repeal marriage because of a Republican state legislature. In New York, Republicans were responsible Still for the win here. Still two-thirds of Republicans in polling, you know, continue correct. to oppose gay correct. marriage. Correct. And, and there is some movement among young Republicans, no question, if you, look at, if you look at the polling. But overall, the center of gravity of the Republican Party is that it is the culturally conservative party. That is the core of the electorate now and the core of the, you know, the, the center of gravity of the elected officials. And it makes it hard to move on an issue like this, just as Obama ultimately in the end had no choice but to join the, the kind of the center of his party leaving, on gay marriage. Leaving it there. Again, this is the cover of the Washington Post. Read it. Let us know what you think. <laughs> Last little segment here, the end point. And Ron Brownstein, final uh, thoughts. I'm going to end with a beginning and a point of personal privilege. My son Taylor on Friday will graduate from college and be commissioned as a second lieutenant in the oh, army. So oh, I say, I say good luck and I'm proud of you. Just talking to you on the phone yeah, in the exactly commercial right. break. Turn it on I CNN, said, honey. Up. I said, wake up. I thank you to your son's yes. service and thank you to Elon Manning for coming and throwing me a ball, yeah. proving to America that I can catch the ball. And also, he said his brother is looking good for Denver. Um, Yay. My hometown. Good morning, Will Kane. Oh, Are you going to pass me the conch? Yeah, you can yeah. Know. Um, I am now going to take, <laughs> not talk about JP Morgan. I'm going to talk about Madeline Stowe instead. Yeah. And she tells me she's going to tell me her personal story of revenge because she wouldn't tell us on camera. She wouldn't go there. So I'm going to go get it. And she then was, you're going to go, gonna go she find She's really revealing and so lovely. So lovely, all of you. I'd like to see it. Yes. Shall we do this all tomorrow again? Let's do it.